Today we're going to look at three quick land changes. Our earth is always changing and a lot of times it takes a long time for a rock to break and move. But today we're going to look at three quick changes. The first one's going to be an earthquake. This paper here represents the plates that are on our earth. And when these plates come together and they meet, this is where earthquakes can happen because the plates are either going to push against each other, slip past each other, or push one underneath each other. California has plates that meet together and that's why there are earthquakes there. So when an earthquake happens, the land changes quickly. So here we have the representation of a building and if we have an earthquake and we have these plates move apart, we can see what happens to the buildings and how everything is affected around it. That is a quick change. That is a quick change. Another quick change can be a landslide. So imagine that this is a side of a hill, um, a small mountain, and if there's an earthquake and the earth starts to move, this area is going to start to shake too. So a landslide is when the land and the rock quickly breaks and slides down. So if you have a house down here and you have a landslide, this can be affected as well. This is a quick change. You can also have mud coming. If there's a lot of rain and there's erosion, that mud can slide down too. This is another quick change in the earth. The last type of quick change we're going to talk about are volcanoes. When a volcano erupts, it can shake the land and can cause buildings to fall and landslides as well. But we're gonna talk about the lava. A volcano is basically made out of rock. Lava is melted rock. When it's underground and in the volcano, it's called magma, and when it comes out, it's called lava. So here we have a rock. We're going to have it erupt. And you can see the lava flowing. If there's something around here that could melt, could start on fire. If there's nothing around here, if you come back later on and this is dried, you'll have new land. And that's what Hawaii is. Hawaii is made of volcanic eruptions that happen underwater. And as the rock hardened, we have the Hawaiian Islands. So all this now is new land. So instead of breaking land, like we did with an earthquake or a landslide, we're creating new land, new rock over here, a new land formation.